Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Marl, your art teacher. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw a husky dog. All right. Secret to drawing is knowing your lines, your shapes, and sometimes your letters. That means that even the hardest thing you think you want to draw can be super easy if you just break it down to easy steps like lines, shapes, and letters. Let's get started. You're going to see me sketch and draw with a black Sharpie marker. I just want you to get a white paper and a pencil. Here's a mechanical pencil that I'm using. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start off with head, the ears, and the top of the chest and shoulders. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to sketch. And when I sketch, when I sketch, I'm going to sketch searching for the right way to go. That's what sketching line is all about, searching for the right way to go. So that means that you see me leave my mistake lines there. I'm sketching a circle. See, I messed up several times, but I'm leaving it all there. Why am I showing you this? Because I want you to know that art does not have to be perfect. If you leave all your mistake lines there, it helps you. Mistakes help you in art. They're okay. All right, so I got my circle head. You can see where I've been drawing underneath the paper. So that's the triangle ear. Here's the other triangle ear. See, I'm just sketching. If this is not comfortable for you, then go ahead and just do your continuous line like that. All right, I'm going to sketch the top of a rectangle or a square. All right, that is your first four steps. Ears, well, three steps. Ears, head and the top of the chest. So green light go, and you can pause my video at any time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I am getting ready to do the lines of symmetry. The lines of symmetry are basically um, where you have to make sure everything that's on one side is on the other side. So if you draw the line down your face or hold your hand like this, whatever is on one side is on the other, it's the same. It has symmetry, another um, word for symmetry is symmetrical. Can you say symmetrical? Symmetrical. So here's my line of symmetry right here. Straight down the middle. All right. So I'm going to do um, facial feature lines. So these lines, let's see, do I want my eyes right there? I think I'm going to actually move them down some. You see me erase every now and then. I think I want my eyes right here. I think I want my nose down here and the mouth right here. All right, that is your next step. Draw your line of symmetry going down the middle. Draw the facial feature lines for the eyes, the nose and the mouth. Notice this is the, the eye line is gonna be towards the upper part, but not up too high. That's the forehead. The nose is not in the middle, it's below the middle. So that's the nose line. This is gonna be the mouth line. All right, green light, go. Pause my video and start drawing. All right, so the next step I'm going to do is to actually draw the eyes. So our eyes, I like to say the football oval and the baseball circle, right? So their eyes, they're a football oval as well in a baseball circle, but it's shaped differently. I'm going to do, instead of a, a complete rainbow line, I'm going to make it more slanted on the ends. I'm just drawing like part of a, a, a rainbow line. So like a curvy slanted line. All right. And then I'll just go ahead and bring it down on this side. Bring it down on this side. All right. So it looks, you know what it looks like? It looks like a raccoon. That's what it looks like to me. All right. I'm going to do the bottom of a rainbow line. So I'm just bringing it around. All right. Now I'm going to do the nose. Remember, the nose is right here. So what we want to do is rainbow line on top. And we're just going to bring it down to this mouth line down here. There we go. Now I'm going to draw the nostrils. These are our nostrils. Just make a circle on both sides of that line. And then I'll maybe a line right here. So that line right here is the top for them. Okay, for the mouth. All right, so for our mouth on our dog, we're not going to draw it just yet. We're going to move on 
let's go ahead. We have our eyes, our nose, our mouth. Okay, so let's stop here. Green light, go. So what I want you to do is look at, I'm looking at my reflection on the video and it looks funny because I'm drawing like this, but just look at it. It looks like a pig. It's starting to look like all different animals, but don't worry. It'll turn into a husky. All right, so now what I want us to do we're gonna draw lines that help to form the face. Because yes, this is a flat 2D paper, but we want it to look like it's sticking out. So how can we do that? By drawing lines. Remember the secret to drawing? Lines, shapes, and letters. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I want us to, first of all, draw a curvy zigzag line right here. I want us to turn the ear and make it wavy. So I'm doing a wavy line right here. A wavy line right here, a wavy line right here. Let's go ahead and make a curvy rectangle inside. All right, so now I'm gonna draw the nose bone right here. We can give it an eyebrow and the nose bone. The nose bone is just gonna be a curvy line right here and a curvy line right there. It kind of goes out like it's gonna go around the nose. So I'll stop, I'll go over those steps. So the first thing I did was like a little zig, curvy zigzag line on top. I made the ears a wavy line. And you know what? I think I wanna do it with a Sharpie now because I feel like if I do it with a Sharpie, you can see it better. So here's the curvy line right here, a wavy line right here, a wavy line right here, a wavy. So this, these two are the wavy triangles, wavy triangles, Wavy zigzag line. Now inside, another curvy, wavy triangle for the inside of the dog's ear. Let's give him some eyebrows. I'm gonna trace over the slanted line. So I just went up, slanted diagonal, kind of over. Let's do that nose line. So you go down and come out and go around. Do the nose. You know what it looks like inside the nose, everybody? An upside down happy face. Look, two eyes and a smiley face. It's just upside down. All right, so now, green light, go. All righty, so if you pause my video to draw, that's great. And if you press play, we're gonna move on to the next. I wanna break it down to simple steps because what we wanna do is we wanna make it as simple as possible. If you have to rewind this video, go for it and rewind it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna do this mouth on the dog, all right? So this mouth on a dog, I wanna do the mouth line, which is gonna be right here. Bring it around. All right, it's gonna actually come up and connect with this little curvy line. So it's just gonna curve, come up and stop. Curve and come up and stop. See how it stops inside that line? Now we're gonna give it a bottom lip. When you do a lip, the lip has two lines, a top line and a bottom line. All right, so I'm just gonna do two curvy lines. That's it, watch. One, two. All right, sometimes I like to do it like a W. I'm gonna add in this W right here. Look at that W. It's starting to look like a dog, right? You guys are probably doing a really, really good job. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I want to add another line in right here, right here. That's giving it more of, you know how dogs nose and mouth stick out to the side? So that's giving it more of a round shape. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and draw that furry neck. All right, so I'm gonna start from up here and I'm just gonna do a wavy line down on both sides like that. All right, okay. So again, the steps that I did this time, I did, I'll go back. So I have some shapes right here. So if we back it up, we did the nose. We did a, a upside down smiley face. We did, if this is the mouth line that went up, 
We did two smiley face lines for the lip. We did the nose bone coming around. The eyes just went slanted. See on this paper, I was a little behind. And then they just curved around, curved around. Oh, I am added that W from the nose, which is a line. Come here. And then we added one more line. One more line that kind of just went around like this. We added a neckline. We went from the ear and came down. We'll do that down here. It's all about lines, you guys. The more lines you add. So we're basically connecting this. Oh, that, these, this was the older steps. The zigzag line, the wavy ear, the wavy ear. The wavy inside ear, wavy inside ear. So I'm doing all these to recap. All right, so our dog is coming. This dog over here looks way better than this one. But you know what? Either one is going to look like a dog when we finish. So even if yours looks funny, do not ball up your paper. Do not give up. You just keep trying, okay? All right, you guys. So now I'm going to add some more if you want to pause it now and go ahead. Do what you can. All right. Now let's get that pupil going on this baseball circle right here. So inside of here, I'm gonna draw a circle. It is not gonna to touch the bottom. It is not gonna to touch the bottom, I repeat. Can you hear my kids screaming? All right, I'm gonna give it a little tiny circle inside. That means if I give it a tiny circle, then, you know what? I think I'm gonna do my tiny circle. Then you're gonna color all around it. And leave that tiny circle white. All right. So now it's time to put some dots and color in the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So this is where Ms. Marl likes to add all kind of texture and just have fun with this dog. Okay. So of course the fur is gonna be everywhere, right? Let's see. All of that's going to be fur, right? But what I really want to show you, let's see how wide. I'm going to switch markers. I want to show how a husky really looks. Okay, because my husky dog, he is beautiful and he has spots everywhere. Let's see if I can get him to come over here. Simba. Simba. Come here, Simba. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Here he goes. Say hi. Okay, let's look at this husky. So you see how it's a circle up here? And then it, see how the lines go down? I love you. And see how it's dark around the eyes? See, we did the nose, see the nostrils. Now you can make your dog's tongue hanging out. Okay, bye, Simba. Let's think about the color of the dog. <laughs> so we named him Simba because he is um, he is like, like the Lion King. Okay? So I'm looking on my phone for the picture that I wanted. Husky dogs. Okay. So, oh my goodness. Okay, so the picture that I want to do, I want to make sure we have some good spots on here. This is where I want everybody to go get your black marker because we're going to do the whole picture with the black marker. All right, so let's see. So what we want to do is we want to start to draw, and I'm drawing with zigzag lines. Remember how I said they're dark around the eyes? Okay, so it's gonna come out, it's gonna go around. Come around like this. Completely white right here. Going around the eyes. See, I'm doing a zigzag line. All right, so all of that, we're going to be coloring black, okay? And it's going to be black around the eyes. 
black around the eyes, black around the eyes. Simba, I see you. Simba is trying to jump up here, y'all, and get some food. That's what he's trying to do. So everything you do, you want to show texture. You want to show, it looks totally funny from, look at that right here. So you want to show texture. That's why I'm doing zigzag lines. Remember, it's all about lines, shapes, and sometimes letters. Okay, so on the outside, look what I'm going to do. Zigzag lines, zigzag lines, zigzag lines, okay? See my picture again. Okay. So, remember the nose? I'm just going to scribble a little bit around it. I don't want it too dark. Okay. So, we got that part. Okay. So, now, how do we show lines in here? Look at that. All you do is with your marker is you're just adding lines. That's all you're doing. You're adding your lines. And you can even do the zigzag lines. Watch, you can even do zigzag lines on the edge because this animal is completely covered with fur, you all. Compl so I wanna see zigzag lines everywhere. I wanna see lines all throughout your animal. You have the, the facial feature of a dog. You have the eyes, you have the nose, you have the nose bone lines. You are actually creating these curvy lines to create the form so it doesn't look flat. It sticks out. So all you're doing is some lines. And Ms. Marl will be happy for those students who are watching this video in my class who have to turn this assignment in. I will be so happy with anything you give me that you tried. And I see those. I want to see the eyes. I want to see the nose line that's curvy like this to show the form. Form is an art vocabulary word. It means you're trying to make something look like it sticks out and have depth and it's round with form. You want to make it look like it's 3D. You can just put a few lines because all this part is going to be white. So you don't want to put a lot of lines. Whereas this part up here, it's going to be dark. Like my dog I showed you is brown and black and white. But this husky that I'm doing, he's black. So you got to look at some pictures of huskies. Which kind of husky do you want to do? Do you want them to have black hair mainly black hair do you want them to have some brown hair if you want some brown in there you can i don't know if you noticed the inside of my dog's ears were kind of pink so maybe you put the pink right here all right so how does it look on the shoulders and everything guys let's see my dog is like this dog the picture i'm looking at uh, okay so it's dark around the neck area so i gotta put a lot of lines a lot of black lines and this it goes around it's almost like they have some kind of jacket on and you can draw two lines right here for the paws my dog is completely white on his belly and his arms and his legs but then the top part of him he is actually dark Okay, so you guys, let's see, let's bring in this down some, bring it around, and make sure they know this is a husky dog. There are certain prints for husky dogs that other dogs do not have. It's all in the eyes, it's all in the eyes. Now, my dog doesn't have black eyes, so I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to make another line around here, and I'm going to color it blue. He has kind of blue eyes. Simba, come here, Simba. Let's see if he comes back. <laughs> come here, Simba. Come here. Jump up. Come here. Jump up. Come on. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, you're so heavy, Simba. Oh, you shook your heavy boy. See how brown he is? Okay, let's turn around. Turn around. Mommy wants you to see. I want the kids to see. Okay, he's squeezing away. Okay, y'all. So I wanted y'all to see his little white part that goes right here and how he's dark around there. So if you want your dog kind of dark around there, then you can put those prints. Because husky dogs have, have 
all kind of prints around their eyes. So maybe you have it put more lines around here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop here. Oh, you can add a little collar if you want. But these dogs are so beautiful. I'm adding my zigzag lines around. You can make them as furry as you want. <laughs> That's going to be my husky for tonight. I wanted to add some kind of pinkish or brownish in the ears. I'll add some browns lines i want to see texture so our vocabulary words for today are lines shapes texture and form because we want to i want to see your nose looking like it sticks out how do i what's the texture texture is something how does it feel my shirt feels differently from my hair from my skin how can i show that on paper for a dog it's going to be fur you how do you show fur lines I want to see a lot of lines, zigzag lines on the edges, and a lot of lines throughout here. The darker you want your animal, it's going to be the closer you make your lines together. So if I want my animal darker up here, then I'm going to keep coloring and coloring lines closer and closer together, y'all. Because I want to make sure everybody knows my dog is dark around here. So, yep. All right, you guys, I'm going to stop there, show you a picture of my little husky dog. All right, have fun doing your dog. If you want to add in a little tail sticking up, that's, that's great. But have fun. Have fun. Know that you're learning. Might not come out just like you want it. I want you to have fun. These are just the basic features, and you take it from there. And it will also help if you look at a picture. I don't know if you noticed, I kept looking down. I was looking at a picture on my phone. So, I want you guys to keep looking at the picture and drawing and you can watch the video too. All right. Bye.